Welcome to the Forum for Equity in Elementary Mathematics. Today we will explore the parts of the Teacher Reflection Tool for Whole Class Discussions and how to navigate the interactive PDF pages. The first two pages introduce the purpose of the Teacher Reflection Tool and guide you through a four-step cycle of reflection. Pages three and four bring you to the first step of the cycle, selecting an area of focus. The questions provided are there to help you choose an area related to student participation to investigate you can choose to focus on student participation, questions posed to students, or responses to student contributions. Once an area of focus is chosen, click on the link below. This will bring you to the collecting data, reflecting, and taking action pages. Let's take a look at the features of the PDF. Please note that each area of focus has its own corresponding color, making printed hard copies easier to organize at a glance. Begin by clicking the link provided. That will bring you to the collecting data page. Here, you can navigate through the document in single view or in two-page view. All of the PDF pages allow you to write directly into the cells. Each area of focus follows the same cycle of reflection. The collecting data page is followed by the reflecting and taking action pages. After completing the cycle of reflection, return to the selecting an area of focus page. You can decide to repeat a cycle or choose a new area to focus on. We recommend repeating a cycle within the same area of focus to observe if any changes occurred to student participation as a result of actions taken. Thank you for engaging with the Teacher Reflection Tool for Whole Class Discussions.